34. Thirty forty. Game. Federer. Federer leads five games to four. Six, four. Federer. Seven, four, Federer. <laughs> Seven, five, Federer. Federer. Nine, six, Federer. Thank you. Nine, seven, Federer. Nine, eight, Federer. Sets to two, six, four, four, six, seven, five, two, six, seven, six.
The greatest victories in tennis require years of hard work and countless hours of practice to be able to perform under pressure. All players start here. There's no shortcut to becoming the greatest of all time. I can help you start your journey in the Top Spin Academy. Hey, it's John McEnroe. I'm the guy setting you up on court today. I'll be helping you play the greatest sport on earth. Let's get started with the basic lessons. First off, we're talking about how to move around the court and how to hit the ball. Let's watch a demonstration, and then you can try it out for yourself. In this demo, you'll learn how to reposition on the court and how to hit the ball back to your opponent. Let's get into it. One of the main things behind a quality shot is player positioning. To get a better position, always try to move back behind the baseline and to the center of the court after your swing. That way, your best plays for the next shot. Standing back and letting your opponent's shot bounce will increase your chances of hitting the ball back at the optimal waist height. Use the move input to move around the court and reposition in the center of the court behind the baseline after each shot. It's a pretty common mistake to stay in no man's land. No man's land is the area just inside the baseline up to the service line. Hitting the ball from here is hard. There's less time to react and chances are that's where your opponent's shot will bounce to. A ball hit at your feet just before or after the bounce is always gonna be tough to control. If you wanna hit the ball after the bounce, it's best to stand farther back. Get close to the baseline and allow yourself some extra time to set your stance and get a comfortable shot from the waist. That'll get you some extra control and a more effective aim on your next shot. Now the player's back in an ideal position. Let's see how to deal with an incoming ball. Look, it's not rocket science. Press down on one of the shot inputs and release once the ball's getting close. That's how you do it, playing with style. Okay, so quick recap. This is the stuff to take away from today. If you think you've got all that, we can move on. Or if you wanna go back some steps, we can start off by hitting a few balls. You're making great progress. After each shot, return to the center of the court behind the baseline to get ready for your next shot. Focus on your timing. Really great shot. 